Gentlemen, oh, I like that move. Um, let's talk about the rest of our yes. couples that we didn't talk about yesterday. We're going to start with Greg and Natalie. Found themselves, of course, in the dance-off yep. after their Paso Doble. Now, Darcy felt they gave too much strength and power. Um, what did you make of their choreography? The contents of the choreography was fantastic. It used up the floor. It had all the elements that we would need for Paso Doble. Yeah. It had a lot of power, and there's a, an argument that I would say that could have just pipped them over the post. But what I've picked up on here, it's very important. One one of his technical elements, the bottom is still back. So we missed that gorgeous curve that would have filled out. It wouldn't have looked so aggressive and so um, assertive if he had just got the buttocks Tuck your bum under. Tight that whole head. Spanish and a line. Lovely shape. It would have been amazing. OK, so difficult, though. Uh, Craig and Bruno picked up on problems, slight problems with Greg's arms. I mean, to get the arms, the Spanish line that you're talking about, it, it's so difficult. Yeah, expansion, finishing the lines. We talked last week about his arms. He's still working on them. Yeah. I've picked it up here. I know what the judges are saying, but you see they're looking at the technical elements of things. Now, look here. You see it's very small and very tight. We always say apples under the arms. Apples, apples under, under the, the arms. arms. We never want apple okay. juice. That means we've squashed, oh, we've it. squashed it. Keep it nice and apples. wide, big and strong. Okay. Um, Not melons. Finishing the lines. Apples. Yes. Okay. Apples, apples, um, apples. Judge Rinda and Oksana doing a very touching foxtrot. I loved this dance, and I agreed with the judges. I thought it was his best dance yet. What did you make of it? Absolutely gorgeous. Uh -huh. Elegant. You know, I've picked up on this piece here. So beautiful. Look at his top line. Look at his back. The beautiful crossing of the feet, the use of the floor. He, there's no sticking or jumping. Yeah. He's gracefully gliding those feet. I just want to say to them, don't be so nice now. Keep that grit. It's a competition. Yeah. I'm really worried that he's falling in the middle. Um, I absolutely... Absolutely loved it. Well done, Judge Rinda. Next, Ore and Joanne. He had a rumba. I loved it. I thought he really pulled this off. What did you think? Amazing. And for the record, I'm going to put it out there. I have to say, the best hip action of a male celebrity I've ever seen. Ever well, you seen? Ever seen. Wow. I've taken Mark Ramakash. Wow. I still love you dearly. <laughs> the opening out there that I just showed you and syncopated timing, still able to maintain the beautiful eight, still having beautiful long straight leg actions. Absolutely first class. Well done. Um, now, Len mentioned Ore doing three Alamanas <laughs> at the beginning. What are they when they're at home? Well, a simple alamano is when we turn under the arms, but what we got here are what we call three alamanas. That's the beginning of a rope spin there. And then we're going to go in, but he's still using the hip action. You see the hip there? Here come the three alamanas. She's gone under the arms. Alamana. And it's beautiful. Alamanas. It's excellent. Three yeah, yeah. <laughs> Love it. It was earlier on than that, Zoe. Okay. Don't worry. Right, yeah. um, but got the got essence of it. Now, what he was doing there, yeah. a wee little demo time. Oh, I love Okay. To master the figure eight, we do a lovely step called a cucaracha, which means we're squashing cockroaches. Of we, are we are squashing cockroaches, and we, we open our legs and we go into the ground, ball flat, flat, close the feet, ball flat, flat, close the feet, side replace together, side replace together. Oh. He masters Beautiful. the cucaracha. Crushing the cucaracha. Right. Uh, I think I should be heckled by Ed Balls from the floor. <laughs> um, and finally, Louise and Kevin close the show with a very sassy American smooth. Uh, Bruno said it was Louise's leading lady diva moment. Would you agree? I loved it. I'm going to say from the beginning, she looked very nervous up on the stage, but look at this little bit of action. I've been after this for a while. I needed her energy. I love that. Yeah. I'd love to have a go at that, wouldn't you? Still? Oh, I'd love you still to, have to have a go at that. But what we're looking at here, and I, I said it yesterday, and it's important to remember now, if she just keeps improving her entertainment yeah. factor, she's got a lot of great technical strength. Amazing. Good work. Give it up for Karen Hardy. <laughs> Right now, it's my favourite time of the week. I've got my hands on this Saturday's playlist, which can mean only one thing. It's Tunes on Tuesday. Now, it's not just any old show this weekend. It's Blackpool. I know, 
we have barely mentioned it. Oh, hello, old friends. Look, Steven Seagal. Uh, let's see what's first up on the jukebox tonight. Here we go. <gasps> that one. I think that's it. Karen, go with it. Okay, it is. Born to Hand Drive from Greece. Am I on the wrong one? I think I've got these movies covered. Yeah. This song was written by Jim Jacobs for the Greece musical and was performed by Shana Na in the hit film. Did you know producers originally wanted to make the film as an animation? An animation! That's utter madness. In the end, they settled for an animated opening credits instead. When do they do that bit? When they do that bit, yeah? Uh, which of our cast was born to hand drive a baby in Blackpool? Come with me, Karen. Come with me, Karen. Oh. <laughs> Greg and Natalie, of course, they will be dancing a quick step to this. Not a hand drive. See you later. See you later, Hardy. She's hot. Uh, right. What's next? Oh. I said that's life. Oh. That's life. It's a classic. Perhaps best known for being recorded by a certain Blue Eyes. Yes, Frank Sinatra himself. Also been recorded by most of the biggest names in music, including, here's a list, Aretha Franklin, uh, James Brown, Shirley Bassey, Van Morrison, Michael Bublé and Michael Bolton. What's happened to Michael Bolton? I wonder. Anyway, who will be dancing to this classic in Blackpool? Let's see. Joanne will be doing a Viennese waltz. Right, we have time for just one more. Let's make it count. Here we go. Here they come. Ah, uh, yes. It's the Spice Up Your Life by the Spice Girls. Uh, posh, baby, sporty, ginger, and very, very scary. Uh, we all have our favourites, of course. You won't believe this, but this song topped the UK singles chart the same week that Claudia Frederpani was born. Yes, in October 1997. Fact, fans, listen up. Did you know that the girls were originally going to be called Touch? I love Ed Balls, it is true. Uh, but they didn't get their now infamous nicknames until they were thought up by a writer at Top of the Pops magazine. So which of our cast will be hoping to spice up the Chatwood Ballroom on Saturday? AJ, did you just say, where are we? Yeah, I can't, I can't thing. Here we go. Look over here, Spice Girl. <laughs> Salsa to this party number. I can't wait. I see ya. Well done. Spice Girls. The Spice Girls. The Spice Girls. I think Ed Bulls actually has a shrunken head. Uh, if you want to find out what songs the rest of our couples will be dancing to in Blackpool, you can head to the Strictly website for a full list. Right now, it's time to take a